I also am thrilled with all of the uh, bond work that has gotten done. And um, so many improvements and just positive comments in the community. Mm -hmm. And um, also, I appreciate, Mike, your, your uh, communique and um, details to what's going on. And I know our community is looking uh, even for more. So, and I know you're working on that. So I appreciate that. And um, I think we, we're uh, going in a, in a wonderful direction. And I thank you for your leadership with that, that bond and um, following that through. That's all I have. Well, off that note, I do think we're heading in an incredible direction. And I, I don't like to say this, but I've been doing this a long time. And um, this week, I'm a bit upset on a posting that's out on the internet saying that we are not doing a good job, you or I, on the bond issue. And so I'd like to address some of those facts. And I'm going to bring more information forward to back those facts up because um, I think it's border borderline to the point we may, may consider legal action if you guys would like on some of this stuff because it's very slanderous out there to me. Um, the post states that we're not completing our bond work list, which is not the case at all. In fact, it's, it's incredible that we are completing the amount of work that we're doing and the additional work we're doing with rising bond costs. I sent you an article. It's not just us. It's statewide. School bond issues have taken hit because of a recovering economy where the contracted prices aren't nearly as competitive as they were. Um, goods are going to go up. Goods have gone up. Get ready for aluminum, guys. Aluminum's going to go up. These are going to be ongoing issues that we need to be creative and, and work through as we go forward. That's why bonds are flexible. That's why bond language is approved, and that allows flexibility to do so. Um, the post admits, admits many facts that are needed for background information. And being a good Catholic boy, I call it lying by omission, omission of facts, very easily. The post represents post bid number six, which includes work at Seabird and Chestnut Hill, which I'll <coughs> respond to in a minute. But the first one I'd like to respond to is a budget transfer number five, which was, has not been posted. But I think you need to know the whole relevance of all this in order to understand it. Bond, um, bond transfer number five was done um, in order to cover the, the STEM Stemination that Daryl made up last time um, and for our elementary budgets to go forward. The, um, this work we had to recover because um, originally the bond was for a elementary school, not a STEM elementary school, to go forward. And we've recovered from that very easily as we go forward. Breaking up budget amendment number five into four categories is the best way to understand it. Category number one would be work to, work to be completed by MPS with sinking funds or general funds. And that's why we've built that capital funds to do so. The value of this category is 155000 It represents toilet partitions, which the district already has partitions, and we already do that type of work. Significant savings to the district to do it through our cost versus prevailing wage and through the bond. Dow High School cafeteria folding partition um, in the cafeteria. That's something our district employees can do again. No need to pay a prevailing wage through the bond as well. Paint rusty boiler stacks. This is something our district employees can easily do. Um, again, not prevailing wage going forward. Gym equipment at Jefferson. Um, we've already replaced gym equipment middle and high through our district employees. Again, savings from, from um, not prevailing prevailing wage. Second category, I would call it work completed or already completed by MPS. This value is $1,556,000. The largest portion of this comes to tech equipment. And it was simply that the bond was built around iPads, which were $595 a piece, versus a Chromebook that's about $300 cheaper. And so that, is, that itself sets us in a very good position. All of this equipment has been purchased and deployed. All future purchases will be Chromebook type purchases as, as technology for those devices have come lower. The second largest category is furniture, which we have spent, and you have proved many of those uh, each night that you've been in, in this room. Um, these amounts have outfitted new media centers, STEM labs, and secure entrances and offices. So that has not been excluded. Category number three, I would call not presently a priority, but will be reviewed. And you'll see why some of these are in there. $1,750,000 is the value. 1.5 of that is simply the administration center renovation. So we set that aside in order to do um, our school buildings to meet those budgets. And we can review that 
going forward, and, you, and I'll tell you why, if you recall, mm -hmm. we have funds to cover all of these if we choose to do so. The second one is State Street Demo, which is next to the Administration Center. Um, we've debated that we may need this for storage, and so therefore we've set it aside and may want to look at that in the future. The fourth and final category would be what um, I'm calling change order, which is about $80,000. And that re represents masonry repairs and, and miscellaneous pipe piping. <clears throat> That's a hidden condition, and we expect that when we run into those devices to be able to uh, cover that under our conditions category. That in total amount is $3.5 million, and that is how we were able to cover the STEM elementary school going forward. But I must say, if you recall, we have $5.2 million. You can either call that in savings or still in the budget, um, and I'm okay with either one of those definitions. We also have well over $600,000 in interest, so we are now approaching $6 million to cover any remaining projects, which is less than $2 million. Here are some, some examples we've also done of added work, which is amounts to well over $2 million, and that's a conservative estimate of work that we've added as we've gone. At Central Park, we've added outdoor learning spaces, added playground equipment, upgraded the finishes. Auditorium upgrades, we stand the brick into exterior, exterior digital sign was added, renovations to auxiliary spaces, terrazzo polishing, light fixtures, uh, floor tiling and carpet, HVAC equipment, and extra doors and windows. Plymouth Woodcrest, we added Woodcrest STEM makerspace. We added an AV, a, audio visual systems into the special education rooms. We've added kitchen equipment. There was no kitchen equipment built into the barn. Plymouth roof replacement <coughs> was added. Painting interiors in both buildings, nearly the entire building was painted. Added concrete walks and curbs, additional marker boards and tack strips, full depth as, asphalt replacement, technology infrastructure upgrades, all of the ceiling tiles at Woodcrest, lighting, electric, and gas controls, and moisture sealing on the cement slab at both buildings, where we originally just thought Central Park. Other items um, that we've done as well, um, added to it, was Northeast Controls, Dow High Controls, boilers from Mills, which we moved to the warehouse, aluminum bleachers, which we moved from Old Central Middle School to Jefferson Middle School, and we demoed the majority of the portable buildings on our campuses. And the largest item is asbestos pavement, which we have, at this point in every project, have removed full, had full removal of asbestos pavement in the district. These were not in the bonds, and these were added additional projects. So I think we're managing this quite well as we go. Post bid addendum number six, which was the issue of the post. So post addendum issue was issued to reduce the cost at both Siebert and Chestnut Hill, and that was due to the overpriced um, after we sent the bids out. The full budget for both these projects have been bid out and will be completed in 2018-19. So we, we are bidding out and now are spending the money. These are, these are not completed projects. Unlike Central Park, Central Auditorium, Woodcrest, and Plymouth, which are completed projects and exceed all bond work lists, do not judge Siebert and Justin Hill until they are completed projects. In addendum number six, there were space scope reductions at this time, and all the reductions were redesign, value engineering, or price negotiations with, supp with suppliers that still meet the intent of the full bond work list. These projects are just starting, <coughs> and we have 1.5 years before completion to add to these projects through bond savings, district provided work, general fund projects, or sinking fund projects, as we have done at Central Park, Central Auditorium, Plymouth, and Woodcrest. The post list items on, on there as deleted, and I will show you that that is not the case. Chestnut Hill Elementary, it lists 26 interior security doors. Current design meets or exceeds original bond work list. Interior classroom doors are being replaced, and I'll explain that one more later. HVAC replaced. Current design meets or exceeds the bond work list. Completed replacement of HVAC system control and temperature controls. Exterior doors replaced. Negotiating lesser costs for these to do over Christmas break. Already we've got a $10,000 savings because we're doing it off peak time. We will be mindful of aluminum going up in order to move quick after, with the tariffs on this. The same, is case, the same is the case for windows replacement. Already a negotiated savings to do off peak time at Christmas because we were over cost in those areas. Digital sign. I assume this is a digital signage. 
This display, a single TV, was moved to the media center to improve student occupied spaces instead of the entry space. Downspouts, determined this was not a bond, bond priority and could be completed by MPS st staff like so many of our projects at reduced cost, particularly with prevailing wage. P pedestals, media center. Current design meets or exceeds original bond work list. The entire media center is receiving a complete renovation. Lavatory faucets, determined was, this is not a bond priority and could be completed by MPS, st MPS staff as we have been doing all along. Replace plumbing. Piping determined this was done by not a bond priority and completed by MPS staff as we have been do doing as a, at a cost savings. Tech equipment, I've already explained the significant savings there and the iPad to Chrome purchase. Repair masonry, minor repairs to be reviewed on site, full restoration spec deemed unnecessary. The minor repairs will be completed as, as needed. Media center lighting, current design meets or exceeds the original bond work list. Media Center getting a complete renovation. Furniture, current design meets and exceeds all bond work lists. Remodel the bathrooms, determined this was not a bond priority and could be completed by MPS staff as a significant saving as we have at Carpenter and Woodcrest Elementaries. These were only partitions in the bond. So as you can see, we really have been doing the work we wanted. Not done, we have almost six million dollars to cover any projects as we choose to go forward to fit that bond app. The bond app has been met and I will be bringing this to FFO with the documentation to show and back to the full board again as we presented before for your information.